Today, technology has become an integral part of our lives. We're used to seeing powerful computers and science fiction capable of processing massive amounts of data in a matter of seconds. Machines so advanced they make modern personal computers look like toys in comparison. Today's supercomputers are already so powerful that they're blurring the line between science fiction and reality almost yearly. In this list, let's take a look at the world's eight most powerful supercomputers. Number 8 Selene, United States Selene was built in 2020 by NVIDIA and is named after the Greek goddess of the moon. Its most prominent purpose was realized in 2020 when the Illinois-based National Research Lab Argonne National Laboratory used it to study the coronavirus and a potential cure. Selene is also used to train Google's natural language processing model bird. Selene has a total of 555,520 cores and scores 63.46 flops on benchmarks. It is built on the NVIDIA DGX SuperPod reference architecture and runs on AMD 774264 core 2.25 GHz processors. It has a power efficiency reading of 24 gigaflops slash what? Number 7 Perlmutter, United States Built in 2021 by HPE, Perlmutter is the world's seventh most powerful supercomputer, named after the Nobel Prize winner Saul Perlmutter. This supercomputer it was made for various purposes, including nuclear fusion simulations, climate projections, material and biological research, and computational cosmology. It is currently located at the National Energy Research Scientific Computing Center and is used by the United States Department of Energy. Number 6 Sunway Taihu Light, China Sixth on the list, we find our first Chinese supercomputer, Sunway Taihu Light. It was built in 2016 for various purposes such as weather forecasting, pharmaceutical research, life sciences research, and more. Number 5 Sierra, United States Sierra was built in 2018 and is very similar to Summit as both supercomputers use the same IBM Power 922 core CPU architecture and NVIDIA Tesla V100 GPUs. However, while Summit was made for scientific research, Sierra was made for running simulations to test and maintain the United States nuclear weapons. By running nuclear weapon simulations, the National Nuclear Security Administration of the U.S. can check the effectiveness of its nuclear weapons without physical testing, which helps save costs. Sierra has a total of 1,572,480 cores and scores 94.64 flops and has a power efficiency of 12.72 gigaflops what? Number 4 Summit, United States Summit was built in 2018 by IBM for conducting scientific research.
It's located at Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the U.S. Summit has a total of 2,414,592 cores and scores 148.6 flops. Number 3 Lumi, Finland Lumi, Large Unified Modern Infrastructure, was built in 2022 by HPE and is located in Finland, making it Europe's fastest supercomputer. Lumi has a total of 1,110,144 cores and clocks a speed of 151.9 flops. Number 2. Fugaku, Japan Fugaku was built in 2020 by the Japanese IT giant Fujitsu as a successor to the company's older K computer built in 2011. It was designed to solve the world's biggest problems, especially slowing down climate change. It runs on Fujitsu's A64FX 48-core 2.2 GHz processor and has a power efficiency rating of just 14.78 gigaflops watt, making it quite inefficient by today's standards. The system costs more than $1 billion, and each of its cabinets weighs 1.6 tons, totaling 700 tons. And number one, Frontier, United States. Frontier was built in 2022 by the American multinational information technology company Hewlett Packard Enterprise in collaboration with its subsidiary Cray. It's the world's first exascale supercomputer, which means it can compute at least one quintillion calculations per second. Frontier has a total of 8,730,112 cores and scores 1.1 of flops, or exaflops, on Linpack benchmark tests. It's based on the latest HPE Cray EX235 architecture and uses a combination of AMD's third generation 64 core 2 GHz 7A53S CPUs and MI250X GPUs. It's truly mind-blowing to see just how powerful supercomputers are. The job that would take humans several years to perform and regular personal computers weeks, supercomputers can do in a few seconds. Thank you for watching video. For more support, please subscribe channel and share videos with your friends.